Chris D'Elia. Looking at his Instagram, it looks like he's back. Chris D'Elia is back, I think. Like, actually back, like, in the streets. And we knew already from the documentary. But if you just take a quick scan from here, right? Like, from here onwards. Maybe even maybe that picture is a good one. But before Chris D'Elia got cancelled, he was very uh, prone to do all of that sort of, like, comedy. that His brand of comedy where he'd, like, you know, be dancing around topless and stuff and doing, like funny comedic comedy style things that he likes to do and then he stopped doing it because obviously it looked bad because of the allegation but now if you look at this his instagram he's fully clothed in a lot of the places but then as you start to scroll up obviously the poses start to get a little bit more suggestive here he also starts to wear the flipping black nail polish which is clearly a gen z bat signal right G like nail polish he might also start wearing fucking pearls around his neck like a pearl choker and then he's obviously doing other bits and bobs and if you slowly start to creep up on his instagram you're starting to see it again his wife stuff or whatever then again here more skin starts to be shown he starts back in the street there's wife stuff like i don't cheat i'm with my wife i'm with my wife more wife content here kid content i'm a dad i'm a kid i'm, I'm a dad i'm with my wife i don't diddle i don't diddle and then as you keep going up on his instagram you keep scrolling look what you notice him being the tattoo guy so young cool and hip Tattooing something on another person. I think it's Life Rips on the title artist. And then you scroll up to the final one just before recently. Look at this. He's finally back out there topless. So stuff he used to do before getting cancelled. The topless dancing and all that malarkey. The flexing, the posing. He is now back out doing it again. Trying to lure all of these young, unsuspecting females into his log cabin. The new tattoo here. He's got a tattoo, a really big one, right? Going, you know, kind of uh, going on the same theme of his kind of, um, was it, what are they called? Uh, the cult, whatever, cabin, whatever he's got, was it? It's, um, the caption says, I found a place in some tall grass where we can share ideas, right? So clearly, he's kind of leaning into that place. I'm sure he's got a couple of messages from people saying, hey, I want to come into your log cabin. Can you give me the keys? I'd like to be in there. Can we be there alone? Wait for everything, no social media. And look at the second picture that he's showcasing his tattoo. The first one is the professional one taken from the, the the tattoo artist himself. You see a little bit of titty meat there at the front. But look at the second one that Chris Lee has taken on his own phone. He's back out in the streets, chest out, two chains, couple of man boobs here, right? A couple of man tits there at the front, got the lips out, puckering them into the camera. The droopy eyes have gone, right? Looking straight into the camera wanting unsuspecting victims to come into his dms this is proof he's back out in the streets bro this is signaling it could be midlife crisis which i definitely agree may be a thing but i also think it's signaling you know all the tattoos are on show here the neck tattoo the paper plane and now there's big log cabin on his arm so don't be surprised going forward if you start seeing chris D'Elia rocking loads of sleeveless t-shirts going forward loads of fear of god exaggerated sleeveless t-shirts rocking and flexing them and stuff He's definitely back out in these streets. Chris D'Elia is definitely back out in these streets. If you were saying Chris pushing 50, yeah, if Drake, what you're saying, if Drake started a cult, um, he'd have f thousands of willing participants too. Exactly. Look at this. Let's see the comments, actually. Because I was looking, I was thinking, rah, man, Chris is definitely not missing a beat now. I think he's realized that he's, that's the, that's the issue with like cancellation, especially in this era. Number one, you can't really get canceled if you've got a fan base, like I always say. If you've got a decent fan base, you can definitely not get cancelled. And also, you have to remember, or you have to kind of think about it this way, is that if you survive the cancellation, and you know you're guilty, you survive the cancellation, you know you're guilty, it can actually embolden you, it can actually empower you to think, you know what, no one can touch me. I survived a paedophile, paedophile allegations. I survived somewhat, I don't, I don't think they were really rape, but they were like on the cusp of like rape allegations. I, I kind of survived cult allegations. And I'm still here. And it can make you feel even 10 feet taller than you already are. It actually make you feel even more brazen. Yeah, exactly. Like people saying, yeah, like Kanye. Um, right, she, exactly. Same thing. And I think that's what that's what Chris Lee is doing. He's basically reminding everyone, hey, remember you tried to cancel me? Remember you had some goons outside my comedy store trying to get my, my, my set cancelled? Well, I'm still out here, bitch. Let's see what the comments are saying here. Let's see how people have responded on the social medias about this post because i thought this was a bit sussy but also thought it was a clear indication that this guy knows the coast is clear and, er and everything's okay for him um first comment this dude's midlife crisis tax just get worse and worse 652 likes this is honestly pimping pimping pimpin'. a, a woman 
that looks like a le- like, like a lady. I'm not going to post. Oh, it's going to come up. Really cool. That's like an adult woman there. It was an honor. I guess it's a, that's maybe the tattoo artist. Um, there's no way we're all going to fit in there. A lady. It's all about the tall grass of my babies. Someone called Bob. I don't know who that is. Christopher, whatever that, I don't know who that is. I'm impressed with you staying in shape after 40 and the tap. Sucking him off. A lady. That's the most relaxing bicep tricep I've ever seen. Uh, another person here. Sucking him off. Did it hurt? Ha ha, funny. Another person. Crazy how white this canvas is. Another person. Chris living out at Unibuban Fantasies. Another person. Hella professional log cabin builder here. Just want to point out the Joyce about... Oh, shut up, you cunt. Another person. Got a tat in a cabin in the woods, yet this guy lives in Hollywood and drives a Ferrari. Another person. Neat stuff, slick stuff. Brian Callen. 1,186 likes. Let's get a sponge and rub that off though. Good place to start a cult. I'm in. A guy that's got a girlfriend. Uh, <laughs> the cabin. A woman. Grown woman looks like. Guys, I also heard they shoot Lord of the Rings around the corner. Another person. You got the most cliche tats. Maybe get something good. Another person. That's not going to fit all of us. A guy. Simping. Another person here. A cabin in the mountainside. Are those mountain peaks in the background? Or are they your shoulders? Oh my god. The sucking off from... The actual sucking off from the guy is actually worse than the women, to be fair. Quite nauseating. Um, pack your bags, brother. We're going to a log cabin. A woman talking to somebody who supposed to be might be her brother, which is weird already. Um, you did what you did you didn't have to go full Thomas Kincaid on us, but I'm glad you did. Cabin goals. Another person here. Verified. Dope. You know when I was 40, I started getting yatted up. 21, 20, 30 was the first cycle of tats. 40, 43, then I stopped. I think it's well over 40 tats with two arm sleeves. Okay, congrats, I guess. Hey, you got a shack shelled with the another person here. Cabin, hardly know her. The simping for Chris is gross, but it also goes to show why it was impossible to get him out of the paint. Unless it was a criminal allegation or charges, he was never going to get counseled because Chris Alia's fandom is really strong. Like, they mess with him heavy. Like, heavy, heavy, heavy. Like, these fans are like, you know what I mean? Like quickly doing all this nonsense. And then let's look at the video of him doing the kick where he looks like he's half naked. Let's see this one. Teaching my son how to fight. Okay, it involves a kid in there. Is there a kid in it? I'm not involved. What's he doing? Okay, yep, cool. I'll, I'll leave that. No need to get involved in that one. And then here's him tattooing the life rips on, I guess, a tattoo artist. A lot of fans come up with Sharpies at shows and ask me to sign them. The next day they get it permanent with ink. This is the only and the second, um, this is only the second Delia original Life Rips tattoo. The only people that have them are that person and that person. This is another person that got it. Anyway, you get a gif. I was just thinking myself, right? I can't think of many people, artist-wise, that I would turn a blind eye to if they got accused of diddling kids and I'd want to get their name tattooed on me. I can't think of many. Or I'd be like in their comments sucking them off. I can't think of many. The only person I can think of who's kind of divisive in that way is maybe Kanye because of his comments. <clears throat> but Kanye, I've always been a fan of his artistry. His output that way. Maybe his motivational speeches in terms of creativity and that. I've never really, I've never really been super sold to him as a personality or as a person from time. I always kind of recognize he was, you know, he had that kind of bit of a cunt about him anyway from a long time ago. But I put up with it because of the music and the shoes and the clothes and shit. And I still do because of that. But even because, even though I'm a fan of his stuff, I'm never going to get Yeezy tattooed anywhere on me. I don't care that much. I like the clothes. I buy the shoes when I want it. But that's it. I, but I can't think of anyone else here. People thinking Michael Jackson. I can't, even Michael Jackson, I wouldn't get it tattooed. Like, that's another level. It's like when I see posts of like Joe Rogan showing fans like getting tattoos of his face on their body. It's like, I don't know what that's about, man. That's another level of fame. Another level of um, celebrity culture that I'm just not really a part of. Like, I like to support my people that I'd like to support by watching what they do, maybe going to the show or something, maybe donating some money here and there, whatever, whatever it may be. But I don't go as far as like standing them in comments, um, sucking them off by getting tattoos and stuff, paying for meet and greets. Like I'll go watch a show, I'll support, I'll buy a drink, I'll hang out, I'll clap, I'll scream, I'll shout and I'll go home. I don't need to do anything more than that, do you know what I mean? But I think some people like that contact, they like that community. And of course the artists themselves, um, they like to oblige. I mean, they definitely will oblige and let you know, hey, I appreciate this, man. And they'll definitely come back out and let you know that everything's good in that regard. But it's never been my vibe in the slightest, to be fair. But yeah, Chris O'Leary is definitely not cancelled. He's back out in the streets, half naked, 
get in sleeve tattoos. He's definitely going to be um, <laughs> quite a and get a zinger tat. Please don't, please, for the love of God, please don't do that. Um, he's out here with top offs and shit, arms showing, pink, pink, black nail polish. You might even do pink. Who knows? Um, actually, out there trying to uh, signal to the kids. 